show you what I'm working on in here in the shop now. Turn the lights off so I don't come back in here. I, uh, yesterday I uh, started sanding on the Nova some more. I uh, sanded the jams. That way I can oh, spray them first. Um, he, I'm not supposed to be doing anything to the jams. It wasn't, uh, I didn't price it. Uh, he didn't want anything done to the jams, but where I had to strip the uh, quarters down, I didn't like how, uh, how it was going to look if I just didn't touch the jams. So I'm going to uh, just do as little as I can uh, to get by with. He had some chips and stuff down here at the bottom. So I'm going to spray some black, burn it in into the rest of the jam and uh, do that first before I sand uh, the outsides of the quarters. That way, when I do the jams, if any overspray or something gets on the quarters, I can sand them. But uh, I did start sanding on the top and got down to about right here uh, with 400 on a block and uh, realized, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And I also took the, the trunk off. I don't know if I showed or not, but had to do a repair on the inside of the trunk of it where it had some rust holes um, on the outside. When I weathered them in, it bubbled some paint on the inside and actually bubbled a lot of filler that was there, uh, not just paint. But uh, I'm going to, as easy as it, it is, I'm going to uh, just spray the jam of the trunk. And then uh, I, there was a lot of paint buildup on these inner fenders um, where it bolts to, so I didn't want more. So I grinded them uh, well, sanded them all the way down uh, to where there would be just one layer of paint on it so it won't uh, make a mess when the bolts are tightened down. I'm going to uh, sand the fenders, paint them. I decided to paint them off of it so the way I can get the inside and the outside uh, at one time because I'm going to have to take, take them off if I put them on to be able to put the badging and, st and uh, chrome trim on. So might as well just paint them off of it. And then uh, I got this Toyota dropped off yesterday. Um, he is, uh, right now he's making up his mind if he wants to paint uh, this bedside um, and blend it into the, um, the cab because it is two different colors. And uh, wasn't real sure what's going on with this truck. He bought it this way, but uh, I'm thinking now the more I look into it uh, that this bed came off of another truck and they had to replace this bedside because if you see, I should have videoed this before I pulled it in, but if you can see the different colors to the door, to the rear door and the um, uh, front door on the driver's side, this bed has definitely been, this bedside's definitely been replaced and it's been painted because it's a, it, it don't even really have a very good shine to it. It's a, it's really dull. And then this cab corner has got the same dullness and paint and then there's, there's probably a lot of filler in here because there's some pinholes and stuff like that in it. And it's been painted up through there and you can see in the, the jam that it there's overspray but the more i look at this door it's got a better shine and everything to it it's about like factory is what i think they've done is this door and this bed's come off of another truck and that's why it don't match the uh the color it's probably the same color from factory it's just uh the variances from factory of it being uh this far off because this looks more like a factory clear than what they've had sprayed. Um, so I th I'm thinking that's what has happened. The bed and this door has came off of another truck and they put it on this truck. Um, this, none of this has been messed with. And then the front bumper, you can see it's two different colors. It's been painted to it and it looks just like the bedside as far as the the paint that's on it the clear and stuff so i think that's what has happened but he's definitely i'm definitely painting this side and getting it the right color um he is uh still um he is 
making up his mind if he wants to spend the money on on doing uh this side also because it's got some dents and uh scratches and then i also priced him painting this whole side too because it's got some scratches down the side of it uh that's been touched up with some touch-up paint uh a dent in the fender scratches up here and then of course the bumper don't match this because it's been painted grill grill wasn't painted but the bumper bumper has been so not sure about that uh yet but i am out here uh taking the pinstripe off this side for right now and I'm going to take the the letters off uh one a thing that sucks about working uh by yourself on your own um is that not having uh someone to help you take things like this camper shell i have to take it off uh, you can see how much darker it is than this too. It is actually darker than the the color of the the actual color of the cab too. It's darker than it. So uh, I'm not doing any painting to it. He's fine with it. But uh, like I say, I'm taking this camper shell off. I can't take it off by myself. It's uh, a little too heavy and I don't want to damage it. Um, I have nobody here to... Uh, help me take it off wife is at work so uh i'm gonna have to wait until she gets uh her lunch break to help me uh take it off but uh there's stuff to do before then but kind of have to work around stuff like that when um when you work by yourself and on your own um every originally thought that this door had been painted because of the overspray and stuff here Right down here too is some overspray. But uh, like this little chip here has got some rust on it. The more I look at this, I don't think this door has been painted at all. I think they uh, they took it and this bed off of another truck, replaced this bedside, painted this bedside and cab corner and uh, front bumper and let it go. And uh, it's pretty far off. But I'm gonna continue taking the pinstripe off this side and uh taking the door handles and stuff out getting it ready to uh sand and uh, paint so started on the toyota i am i just put filler on these three spots here had a uh, little dent right here had a try and do this here had a little nick paint chip in it right there and in the door right there was a small dent uh, you can see how bad the color is off the door back there, but I uh, got the pinstriping off. I got the door handles removed um, I got uh, the fuel lid door off um, Rachel came home uh, for lunch and we tried to take the camper off and uh, It's sitting a little too high for her to be able to she's just a little tiny thing so it was hard for her to uh hold one side so uh gonna have to get some help to uh to take it off and set it down um like i said got all the uh, rubber out from the windows door handles off uh emblems off um the hinge stripe all that came off uh got the front bumper grill headlights out um gonna disassemble them probably tomorrow uh to prep them for paint he decided on painting the front bumper the grill and this side and not worry about the other side which uh you know to do it right you'd want this whole side painted where it's got scratches and stuff and um you know i don't blame him uh this side does really doesn't really look too bad uh to be honest the bed is a little bit off, but so is the camper shell. Uh, you can see right, right here. I mean, it is, it's not as bad as the other side. I don't think it is a little off, but uh, like I said, to do it right, you'd want to, instead of just painting the bedside and it be off a little bit uh, again, you'd want to blend into the cab corner and the rear door. Well, that's half the truck. And then you're going to have scratches and dents on your front door and your fender why not just paint the whole side of it well you think that that's probably the that's the best thing to do and the right way to do it but uh people don't 
some people don't want to spend that extra money to to do that when i mean it's not it's not awful bad it's not like it's faded real bad and looks looks like crap it's still going to be a decent looking truck once it's all all done and uh it some people it, it may uh pick at them more than uh, than others but uh i i don't blame anybody for uh for what they want they want what they want um i'll fix what they want me to fix and do what they want me to do as far as paying wise if they don't see a a, a, a good investment in putting the money and time into it then uh, i don't blame nobody for that i'm just going to do what i what they pay me to do so with that being said i got the filler on there it's drying uh, i'm going to tape up the windows uh, mask them up uh, so paint i mean not paint uh dust won't get all of his interior all nasty uh, so i'm going to do that before i start sanding and then uh, I'll probably just block these these spots out. It's getting later in the day today, uh, and put a little bit of primer on just these spots. I don't know; it's awful close to my car, so uh, I can't pull it in the booth right now. That Chevy Two's still here, having a hard time getting some uh, trunk uh, trunk paint for it. That speckled trunk paint uh, it's textured. Uh, used to be able to go to the parts store and get it. Well, nobody here in town's got it napa don't have it so uh, uh my paint supplier that uh brings paint on wednesdays for me uh he's uh he's not working today so he's gonna let me know if he can get it uh tomorrow napa said they've been trying to order it for months but i don't know about y'all's napa but ours sucks you can't hardly get shit there uh but with that being said, stop rambling and uh, let this dry and do some blocking and then put some primer on it. All right, <clears throat> I got the Chevy 2 out in this garage, still waiting on some uh, um, spray can to uh, spray the inside of the trunk where I put some seam sealer in it. And I got the Toyota in here. I got the Toyota in here, uh, got it edges uh, taped up so I don't get into them when I sand them uh, that don't need to be sanded. You can really see the color difference in here that was uh, on it. And I am ready to uh, start sanding it. Got primer on it last night. Uh, took the uh, Nerf bar side steps uh, off of it just so I can get that underside uh, a lot easier. Uh, got the uh, top bed rail off and uh, that'll do it I'm just gonna start sanding all the 400 uh, until I get about right in this area I'm going to do it with 800 because uh, this is where I'm going to do my blend I'm going to try and keep um, I'll, I'll probably mask this fender off when I spray the the whole truck and then uh, when I get to a, a, uh, to the fender, untape the fender. That way, overspraying stuff don't sit on here and change the color to the hood. Um, you do have to watch out for that stuff because even though you're spraying back here, um, especially in a makeshift paint booth like this here, um, the overspray lingering will uh, sit on top of this uh, fender and it will change the color to the hood if that's where you're wanting wanting your blend to be so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and keep my color right in this area so it's got a, a transition where you can't you won't be able to tell the if there's any difference in the color slightly so that's what I'm gonna try and do and then once I get all this sanded I'm gonna take uh, the bumper and the grill the rest of the way apart and prep them to sand uh, they're supposed to bring me to um, two uh, spray out colors that I picked from yesterday to uh, see which one's closer. And I'll do a spray out today and hopefully get my paint tomorrow and paint tomorrow. Okay, I haven't been filming anything in the last two days. Uh, I got the Toyota all taped up. 
I'm going to uh, put a little bit of paper over the fender. That way I don't change the color on top of the, uh, on top of the fender until I get up to it and then I'll spray the, spray the fender and keep, try and keep the overspray below it. Uh, the grill is just getting a, a little bit where it meets the, the bumper of color and the rest uh, is just getting cleared. Bumpers getting color all over. I've had a heck of a time uh, getting a uh, blendable match to this color. Been to um, the paint store twice because I get uh, paint deliveries on Wednesday. Today is Friday. Yesterday, more, first thing in the morning, I uh, went and took the hood to the paint store. Um, they scanned it with a camera. Um, went through a bunch of color chips. Um, they brought color chips Tuesday for me. I picked from two of them. And when I sprayed them out, they were totally different than what the chips looked. Um, I had one chip that looked pretty good, but when I, sp uh, <clears throat> when I sprayed it, it was a whole lot darker. Both chips were a whole lot darker than what the card said. So, card looked like. So, um, the spray outs was way too dark for the, for what was on the truck. So, Thursday morning, I took, took the hood off, went to the paint store, went through a bunch of chips, uh, picked out one that was quite a bit lighter. It was actually the standard for the color, but it was quite a bit lighter thinking that well maybe when I spray it it's going to be darker than what the spray out uh, the card look like I get it here and it sprays it looked just like the card uh, it was still it was light so what I did is I went through the uh, spare paint that I had in my cabinet um, I put some black in it to try and darken it up and it was darkening up but it was a little blue uh, making it look the blue is making it look to me light but it's actually like a blue and the color on the truck is more of like a green so if you remember if you seen the older um, previous videos that I've got I sprayed a dark green uh, Chevy truck so I had just a little bit of it and uh, I, I kept adding it in a little bit to it and I got I got the uh, spray out to look look pretty dang close I mean uh, definitely blendable um, almost uh, panel could panel paint with it I think it would be just a little off nothing like what the truck was as far as how off it was um, I didn't put any clear in it but uh, the uh, these are the two spray outs I did uh, one I kept modifying and then uh, the other uh, I got a new panel and sprayed it just to make sure that the colors underneath this one wouldn't affect the top coat and uh, it was actually it looked even better when I did just a just the one so now the hard part is well uh, let me go back uh, I didn't have enough of that green to be able to uh, mix in with the paint to paint the truck, the whole truck, and I, I got a, uh, I got enough paint to paint the whole truck of the color card that I picked, but not to add, not of the green to add into it to make it the color I need. So this morning, Friday morning, I got there when they opened and got enough green to add to my. Mm, my paint that I bought yesterday to make it the color that it needs to be. So the hard part now is to recreate what I did yesterday. Um, and enough of it to spray the whole side of the truck. So that's the next thing. Got it in there, wet down the floors. I'm going to uh, wipe it down with some um, pre-cleaner and uh, start mixing my base coat to see if I can recreate what I did yesterday and uh, put some paint on this thing. Okay, so I got it all sprayed. It's 
taped up this, masked off this fender, sprayed the uh, all of the truck, the whole side, the bumper, and the uh, the grill. The grill was over here, but I got it sitting up there right now. Uh, but sprayed all that, then unmasked my fender, and then sprayed uh, my blend. So I kept the kept my color down in here. You can see on top of the hood there is no color. You can see the the color is on the uh, from spraying that pillar is on the plastic up there and the color is just a little bit right here you can see where I had it masked up so I got a bug in it right there too so this I matched the fender because I, I did my blend right here and uh, it may be a little off to the hood here but uh, this is the hood catch the light in it same point because this color flops a lot but since there's no color on the top of the fender, it should match the, uh, the hood just fine. My color blends into uh, the color that it, the hood is right in this area. So it's on a roll. So it helps transition the color, but I did get it pretty close to um, the actual color of what it needed to be uh, with a little bit of, I say a little bit, I spent, I spent a few hours uh, trying to dial in the color so it uh, match as good as I could get it. But uh, looks like it turned out really good. Got nice gloss to it and everything laid out nice. Didn't get much trash in it at all. Said that little bug over there. Uh, bumper turned out good. It had looks like it had a little bit of damage right here. I didn't notice, uh, but the tag put a tag on it to cover that up. Uh, but yeah, looks a lot better than it did. You should be happy with that. Uh, I got everything done and I was like, but oh, damn, I forgot the door handles and gas lid. So I took the trash can that I had the grill sitting on, brought it over here. Uh, that way I wouldn't overspray what I've sprayed. And I went ahead and sprayed the door handles and the gas lid also. Luckily I didn't use all of the paint that I had mashed up. so. So them are done. Uh, I gotta go pick up a car tomorrow um, in Knoxville. I'll tell you about that when I go and pick it up. But uh, when I get back, I'll see if I can start putting this thing back together so you can pick it up. All right, this morning I'm in the shop. I'm gonna be putting the Toyota back together. Uh, seems to have turned out really good. The match is really, really good. So. Real happy with it. I'm, uh, I've already started taking the pinstripe off on this side. He, he, uh, it's not going to be putting it back on, so he wanted it to uh, match a little bit better. Of course, taking the taking this off, which uh, the Tacoma, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can put some double-sided tape on the other emblem, but uh, it'd be a lot of cutting out to to re reuse it, so he may. Uh, you may get a new one for the other side of it. But uh, taking off the TRD and everything also. So that's what's going on now, getting it back together. Uh, hopefully be picking it up tomorrow. Got the uh, Nova in the booth. Booth, I am putting paint on it this week. So as soon as I wrap up the Toyota, I'm uh, getting back on the, the Nova. The jams are ready to spray, so we're gonna tape them off, put some paint on them so I can come back and uh, sand the body and then tape it all up and paint the, the body, the outside of it. So that's so what's going on now. And let's get to it. All right, so got the Toyota back together. Uh, everything looks real good on it. Matched up really well. Looks pretty slick on this side. Uh, when he comes, I'll have him help me put the camper shell back on and it is ready to go.